So Nick, Chart Mogul, tell us what problems are you solving? Sure, yeah, well, um, Chart Mogul primarily has two products. Uh, the first is subscription analytics, which we've been Please doing for about 11 you. years now. Uh, we've, been, we've been integrated with Stripe for about 11 years. Uh, and that basically uh, allows you to connect Stripe, it's a few clicks, and it pulls in all the billing data and it calculates all your essential SaaS metrics automatically. Uh, MRR, ARR, retention rates, cohort analyses, uh, all sorts of stuff. You can then go further than that. You can. We have a whole bunch of data cleaning, data editing tools, so you can like get the data 100% accurate on your SaaS metrics. You can also combine billing data from other systems or multiple Stripe accounts uh, in case you ever switch Stripe accounts or you have different geographies, and you can combine all that into a single dashboard. Um, so yeah, that, that's what that does. You can you can go further. You can you can create custom reports and uh, share those with your team. And then our second product, which uh, came out about two and a half, three years ago, is basically a free CRM. Uh, the free CRM for the Stripe generation, we call it, which is, yeah, really, it's just a, a CRM that we wish we had always had, which uh, is uh, for inside sales, really, for, for product-led growth SaaS companies. Uh, on Stripe, you connect Stripe, and you can start uh, selling to your free trials, trying to ups or helping them renew and things like that. So, uh, yeah, we're able to give it away for free because we basically, um, yeah, make all of our revenue from our analytics product that we've been we've been developing for a while now. So, yeah. So your analytics product is like a, a layer of analytics on top of Stripe. Does it is is that correct? Yeah, correct. And so, does it consume Stripe events in order to to synchronize and gather data, or is it like a one uh, no, no, it, scheduled thing? It, at the start, it, it uh, pulls in all the historical invoice and billing data and historical events, and then it uh, basically listens for webhooks. So it gets all of the real time events, keeps all your metrics up to date in real time. It also listens for scheduled events. So if you you know if a customer schedules to cancel or schedules an upgrade. It also uh, pulls those in and it will give you like how much MRR is scheduled to come into effect later this month if those cancellations actually go through and things like that. And so what's like the aha moment that you see users uh, go through when they're using your products? Yeah, well, basically, you know, you sign up uh, with, a, with a few clicks, you know, you click connect with Stripe, it loads in, depending on how big of a company it is, how much data there is. Um, you know, it can take anywhere from a, a minute to a few hours if you're a really big company, right? And then, and then, you know, I guess the first aha moment is is when you um, you know see your dashboard just populated with like a ton of data. You know, you can see um, you can kind of see what it looks like here. So you, you you'd get something like this right out of the box. You have multiple dashboards kind of tailored for different teams. You can also do like forecasting. You can say, okay, well, what what would happen if our our uh, churn went down, and you can kind of play with that. You know, what if our churn decreased by forty percent, or what if our we got you know more new subscribers by this percent? And you kind of see how that might play out into the future. So, so you are her moments, yeah. So it's like an instant like visualization once you connect it and, and sync it up. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Obviously, like if you need to, um, uh, you know, clean your data a little bit, you can spend some time doing that. But if you're a, you know, startup and you don't. You've only been in business a year or two. Usually, there's nothing, no yeah. additional work to do, and you get everything right, you know, right out of the box, and you get all these, uh, all these reports right out of the box, yeah, without any work. It's like turning the lights on almost all of a sudden, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we like to think of it. It's kind of like the cockpit from where you you can kind of run your business, and uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, so, where can people go to learn more about ChartMogul and about how it integrates with Stripe? Yeah, well, we have a few um, ways. Uh, so, ChartMogul.com, obviously, our, our website, and, and you can you can find us there. Um, in terms of integrating with Stripe, the, the primary way is the um, you know just through the ChartMogul app, you, you click add a source. Stripe's the number one option because you know nearly I think nearly half of our customers are are Stripe customers, um, and so we've we've really optimized that experience. Uh, you, you 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 click uh, connect with Stripe. It requests a read-only access. We need no write access um, to do this, and then you're away. We we also do have a Stripe extension or a Stripe app that so when you're viewing a um, a Stripe customer profile in the Stripe dashboard itself, you can see the chart mogul information on the um, on the right hand side. So there's a couple of ways it integrates. The primary way is through Stripe Connect, though. Brilliant. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Yeah, thanks so Cheers. much. Cheers.